Richard Mascarenhas, who is a financial professional and also a singer and a songwriter. And today is going to feature us about Did Jesus Keep On Giving. So without any further ado, let's tune into it. Did Jesus skip a meal? Hi friends, I'm Richard Mascarenhas. Happy to be back with you once again with part two of the series on the other 167. While all of us encounter emptiness, dryness or low moments in our life, most of us look away from the problem and distract ourselves by looking in the opposite direction. Today, let's talk about how we can align, adjust and fine tune our focus in the right direction to encounter life in all its fullness. I suggest that you check out part one of the series. The link is available in the description below or somewhere here on the screen. Going back to John chapter four, where we met the Samaritan woman and Jesus. At the start, the Samaritan woman encounters Jesus as one, a stranger. She didn't know who he was. He was just a man asking her for water. As the conversation progresses, they talk about different things. Among those things, Jesus tells her things of her life which no one else knew. Now, she is surprised but at the same time amazed at the details he knows about her. She tries to guess, is he, number two, a prophet? You can see how her perception moves from stranger to prophet. Now she thinks he's a great man. He knows things. He knows things deep within her. They go on further to talk about her convictions and things that she believes in, things that she understands. And he has an amazing way to clarify her understanding. She now comes to realize that he is the Messiah, the one who is promised in the scriptures, whom all of the world, all of creation has been waiting for. Wow, what a revelation. She wants to move ahead from there. And we come to believe that she doesn't want to stay there, but she wants his words to now change her life. She wants him to direct and set things in order in her life. And that is only possible if she encounters him as a personal guru, as a personal messiah, as a personal savior by doing and following him more closely. So you see how the encounter moves from stranger to prophet, from prophet to a generic messiah, and from there to a personal savior. Isn't that the same with most of us? Yes, that's how focus can get aligned. That's how we can align our focus. And I invite you all today, friends, as we pray, that may our focus get aligned to Jesus as a personal guru, as a personal savior, as a personal messiah, whose words can make an immense difference in our life and whom we want to encounter personally each day to experience life in all its fullness. Let's pray. Dear Lord, you never cease to reveal yourself to us and you are revealing more of yourself to us each day. As we draw near to you, you draw near to us. We ask you, Lord, to open our inner eyes that we may see you as you are. We make this prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will see you again with part three of this series on the other 167. Till then, please do not forget to like 
and subscribe to this channel. Please share this blessing with your friends and family too. Check out the links in the description below. And yes, do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can stay updated of new videos that are added every day. Till we meet again, God bless and have a blessed day. Bye-bye. If you ever feel like you're lonely or if you feel any emptiness, you need to align your thoughts with God's word. If you're new here and you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family members. Also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. You could also write to us on the detail mentioned on the screen. God bless you.